I'd really like to think of ourselves as connectors. We literally become the glue in the local economy that connects businesses to one another, that connects businesses to their customers. We really like to be involved in not just the transportation end of things, but also beyond that in terms of encouraging healthy growth and the lo uh, you know, a strong local economy. Well, the business is at Co-op um, because the real name is a mouthful, the Hammer Active Alternative Transportation. I started that in January of 2011. And uh, the reason was to try to create a more sustainable way of doing the first and last mile in the city. I started the business on my own. I had just um, purchased a bike and a trailer and uh, for a few months did a lot of uh, training runs. And so for two and a half years, I ran it as a solo operation. The plan was always to, make a, a, to create a worker co-op, but I needed to have the right people around me. I'm a member of the Hammer Active Alternative Transportation Co-op. We're right about to launch our very first crowdfunding campaign with CSI's Catalyst. Our goal is to raise $6,000 that we're going to use to improve our fleet. We're going to add some new boxes to some of our bicycles um, so we can move local goods uh, more effectively around town in a weatherproof way. We've got a really great package of incentives and so everything from uh, a spoke card that has our new fancy logo on it We've got coffee colleges, locally roasted organic coffee that gets delivered to your door like the milkman. We've got a local bike shop that's doing uh, spring tune-ups for, for folks. We've got some really exciting prizes, where, such as a romantic dinner for two um, on our Velo stage, which is a mobile performance platform. Um, but we'll deliver this dinner for two with five catered courses uh, through one of our catering uh, uh, partners. This is our cargo trike. It's quite versatile in terms of allowing us to move rather large items, but it's very secure as well. So we're able to lock it. We use this for our bread runs, eggs, newsprint, really anything. It keeps the food in very good shape, insulated, and uh, so we're, it's very popular for that. Um, it has an electric assist on it, which allows us to be able to move the large amounts of goods with it. So this bike over here, we purchased recently. It's a Danish built bullet cargo bike and they're very light and versatile. Um, when we attach the trailers to them, we're able to carry very oddly shaped and bulky items. We actually did an apartment move um, where we had our entire fleet basically out and we were able to do a, an apartment in about three hours. But what we want to do now with the Catalyst campaign is to sort of add to the sort of weatherproofness and security of them by building some customized boxes to put on top. These will be lockable, they'll be completely weatherproof. We go all year round, so it's really important for us to make sure that uh, our equipment uh, stays uh, in the best shape. A lot of our clients are repeat business. So we do things like regular bread runs from Cake and Loaf, or we deliver to the Mustard Seed Cooperative, or we get eggs from across town um, from Dundas for, uh, into there, or um, one of our biggest clients uh, most recently is Taste Buds. It's a school nutrition program, and we deliver the apples for them um, to schools all over, all over the city. We actually did their um, Big Crunch and it was a launch where we delivered 22,000 apples to 70 schools over the course of three days. Uh, it was our biggest project to date and we were sort of testing what we could possibly do um, by sort of essentially replacing a, a whole fleet of trucks uh, on, 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 on a delivery like that and we were able to do that while it was minus 30. So we really want to show people what's possible with, uh, um, with bikes. You don't really need a car. The Catalyst uh, crowdfunding campaign um, has been an interesting experience. It's definitely been a challenge. Um, we, we noticed uh, some initial response and then it, uh, we've heard this is quite common. It sort of uh, seemed to stall for a while. I think crowdfunding can work very well sometimes, but it's contingent on so many other things. Um, it requires that you have something that will have mass appeal. It requires, I think, that the culture is ready. Um, ours is very much an emerging um, line of business, so it's uh, a little bit difficult to get 
the, the buy-in because a lot of people need things proven first. Um, so I, I think it really depends on a lot of factors. It can be very effective because you're only asking a little bit of many people rather than a lot from a few. We would love people to support our campaign to really help us do what we want for the city even better. Um, we are a small collective, a values-driven social enterprise where we really want to make sure that we support all the things that make a livable, vibrant community. But it's because profit isn't our prime motive, we don't always have the money to do the things that we want to do. And so growth is very slow and organic. For people to invest in what we do gives us that little push to be able to grow um, a little bit better than we might completely organically.